Hi! In this video, let's take a look at how to extract content from JSON or XML payloads. In the last video, we saw how to use the extract variables policy to extract new variables into the Apigee API proxy context during API call processing. We saw that we could extract these variables from existing variables such as query parameters or headers. In this video, let's take a look at how to extract from within an XML or JSON payload in the request or response message. First, let's take a look at how to extract a new variable from an XML payload. To illustrate this, here I have an API proxy that provides weather information in the form of an XML payload. Let's try to extract from this the temperature field. To do this, we must first attach the extract variables policy to the given flow in the response pipeline. Within the configuration of the extract variables policy, we leverage the XML payload tag to provide the location of the data to be extracted into the new variable. To locate the specific tag within the XML payload from which to extract the new variable's value, we leverage an XPath expression. As you can see, this policy has now been configured to extract the specific field that is temperature from within the weather information response. We also provide the name of the new variable to be extracted as well as the type of data that's being extracted, in this case, integer. We provide a variable prefix as well, which is optional, of course. In this case, I'm providing get city weather. Therefore, the ultimate name of the variable to be extracted will be get city weather dot temperature. I'm also specifying that the source from which to extract needs to be the response. I can now leverage this variable in any other policy setting. For instance, I can use the temperature value that was extracted to set a new response payload using an assigned message policy. Let's take a look at this in action. As you can see, the new response for this API proxy is now just the extracted temperature value which was extracted into a new variable. Next, let's take a look at how to use the extract variables policy to extract from JSON content. To illustrate this, I'm using a similar example, which provides weather information in the form of JSON payload. Let's go ahead and try to extract the temperature once again from within this payload. In this extract variable, policy setting, I use the JSON payload tag to extract from within the JSON payload. To locate the specific attribute or value to be extracted, I leverage a JSON path expression, in this case, the path to the temperature node, to extract the value of the temperature into a new variable. I also provide the name of the new variable as well as a variable prefix and the source from which to extract. I can then use this new extracted variable in any other policy subsequently. Similar to what we did before, I'm setting a new payload for the API proxy response to be the extracted temperature value. Let's take a look at this in action. As you can see, the new response for this API proxy is the extracted temperature variable. There you have it. We now see how to extract new variables in the Apigee Edge context during API call processing from within XML or JSON payloads. Thanks for watching. For more information, please visit docs.apigee.com or community.apigee.com.